Hello! So I thought I would do my first vlog post now um, while the little one is asleep. Um, I'm going to do a what's in my changing bag post, which I think most parent vloggers do at some point. Um, so I will just pop him down. So it looks very cute, but I need both hands. Oh. Just lay him on the sofa. Okay, so my changing bag is the Seraphine Navy Tote Bag. Um, I have done a review of this, so I'll put a link to that underneath the video. Um, but yeah, it's a really big bag, which is perfect for fitting both mine and Jasper's stuff in. Initially, I was going to have it for uh, Reese's stuff as well, but in the end, it wasn't big enough. Um, so he has a little backpack for all of his stuff. So, I'll start with the bottom compartment, you can see here. I use this for all of his changing bits. So at the moment it just has a bag of cotton wool. Uh, we're not using wipes yet, just because he's only a month old tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we're fine just using water and cotton wool for now. Uh, some nappy bags, to try and cover the smell of poo. And some nappies. We've just got first size Pampers. Uh, no particular reason why we've got Pampers, just I think my mum bought us a box of them and we've got some at the baby shower. So that's good that you can keep everything kind of in a separate compartment. It kind of smells away. Not that it would smell, because you don't put the dirty nappies back in. Uh, anyway, so in the main compartment, I keep kind of clothing items. So we've got a spare sleep suit, which I actually don't. Sure, okay. I actually don't think would fit him anymore. I need to try it on him. Uh, but I thought it was really cute. It's from Baby Gap, and it has little foxes with moustaches and crowns on, and it's really convenient because it's a zip open one. So yeah, put that in there, and spare vest as well. I think this one was from it's really Debenhams. It's just really cute little circus animals on. And then muslin cloth. Uh, he's not a particularly dribbly baby but sometimes he does do a bit of spit up. Which is a bit gross. Um, and then the next thing is my snoop. I've done a review of this which I'll put a link uh, underneath as well. But basically it's like a scarf, so it's a breastfeeding scarf, but it joins at either end. It's kind of like a big loop. And it's just really good for, you can wear it twice, for fashion or just to keep your neck warm. And then when you want to breastfeed, you just have to undo it once, and then you've got a nice big cover. So it's, it's really handy for when you're out and about, and you know you're going to be feeding. And then I also have his little zebra which he really loves now reese got him this well pete and reese got him this when he was first born and he loves the contrast of the stripes and he also has another one which we got from kitty care um and they give it away in the bump baby and me kind of starter pack it's like their mum club um so he's got two like it which he really likes and then my purse which I won't go through because it's just full of receipts and kind of rubbish. There's not much money in there. And sunglasses. So that's it for the main compartment. And then, as you can see, there's one, two, three more compartments. So in the front zip one, I just have little kind of clothing items. So some sockies. A uh, bib, which he doesn't actually wear bibs yet, but I thought I'd put it in there just in case. And this one's cute, it's from the Gruffalo. And then some mittens, which again, he doesn't really wear because he doesn't keep on, but he has a bit of baby eczema on his face, just kind of on his cheeks. And the doctor said that if he wore mittens, it might stop him from irritating it, which it does help, but he doesn't keep them on. So the next compartment is my one, and as you can see it's a bit of a mess. So I have my perfume, 
Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, and I should really get one of those travel pots for it because it's very big and heavy. Tic Tacs. Uh, I got addicted to them during pregnancy and still eat them like sweets. Um, I've got my BB cream, which is by The Body Shop, and it says Glowing Shade, and it's just really light and gives good coverage. And my mascara, which is Max Factor Wild Mega Volume. Uh, I'm not particularly fussy with mascaras, I just kind of pick a different one each time, and this one works quite well. And then I have my MAC Mineralize Bronzer, and it's just a cheapy brush. And my MUA Concealer. MUA I'd never heard of before, and this cost me, I think, a pound from Superdrug. And it's really good, it's, it's nothing special, it's just a concealer, but I really, really like it. And for a pound, you can't really go wrong. And then I also got the Ultimate Eyebrow Kit from the same MUA. And it just comes with the brownie shade, which I just put on, and then I use the clear, which kind of seals it in. So, and it comes with tweezers as well. So I thought that was good, and I think that was about three pounds. And then a lipstick. This one is Christian Dior, and it's Rouge. Rouge Dior, but it's coral. I'm wearing it now. Um, so yeah, I like to always have a little bit of colour on my lips. So keep that in there. And that's it for that compartment. And then the next compartment is kind of the medical one. So we have his little bogey sucker, because he gets quite a snuffly nose. And to be honest, this doesn't really work. I haven't managed to get anything out in there. Um, but I think maybe the bigger his nose gets and his nostrils open, it might start to work, hopefully. So I don't know if you can hear now, but he's snoring. Yeah. And then the Panthen. Uh, we didn't want to use Sudocrem because it's a little bit harsh considering he's only a month, like a bit harsh on his skin. Um, so the Panthen is quite good, just he gets a bit of a red bum sometimes. And then breast pads, uh, because I'm breastfeeding and they do leak. And then Lance Nola Nolan Nipple Cream. This is a godsend. It's absolutely brilliant. And his nasal drops, which, again, don't really work because he still snores and snuffles all the time. But I, I do use these religiously just to try. And that's it. Oh, and I have a big hair clip because he likes to pull my hair, so it's good just to be able to chuck it up. And, yeah, that's everything in my bag. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I think normally I would also have my keys in there and my iPhone. However, Jasper decided to wee on my iPhone today while I was changing his nappy. I just had it placed next to him. And so it's currently in a jar of rice trying to dry out as the speaker went. So hopefully that fixes itself. Um... And yeah, that's about it. That's all I'll have, really, unless I need more clothes. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked my first blog post. Uh, any suggestions or comments or anything underneath would be really appreciated. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Bye!